Real talk, yeah. just rap pack, but besides that, yeah. nobody I trust Back again like I never left, Young and I said us to the death We turned up till we go deaf Guys, as you can see, finally Leon is back. Now, where has it been? Why has it not been on the channel? And what is going on with it? So, to start with, as you saw from my getting my car MOT ready, the car was literally MOT ready, ready to go. The only thing it might need is a set of tires because it's rubbed one of the inner, almost all of the inner arches are all rubbed out. But I don't think it's an MOT fail because it's only slightly, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna put it in anyway, but anyway, after filming that video, a couple of weeks later, since filming that video, I booked it in, ready to go. On the day of my MOT, the car's power steering light, the like red steering wheel came on and it just flashed. It was yellow, it went bing, yellow, and then it binged again and went red. And I completely lost power steering on the way to the MOT center. And I thought, well, there's no way my car's gonna pass its MOT with a power steering fault. So I canceled the MOT, drove it all the way back, which is one of the hardest things you've <laughs> I've ever done. When you're moving, it's absolutely fine. Like steering, it's like, it's heavy, but it's okay, it's doable. It's when you stop at a junction or a roundabout and you're literally like, oh, uh, uh, it is the worst thing you can ever do. So the main reason the car has been off the channel is because it's had a power steering issue. Now, after taking it to a garage, what it turned out to be is I kept reading the code and it kept saying a torque sensor had gone. But what it actually was, was the steering rack itself, a sensor in the steering rack and the steering rack itself being 188,000 miles old was just completely shot. It was completely done in. So it had to have a new steering rack. So I took it to the garage, waited a couple of, because obviously garages are full, they're busy. So I booked it in had a new steering rack, and now finally, I've just got the car back literally today, hence why I'm making this video. So officially, the car is MOT ready. However, as you would have seen in a couple of my previous videos, in my, is it the end of the engine video, it still has an issue in the fact that one of the valves are clearly chipped, which basically means there's compression getting back out in the engine and going down the induction kit, which is why you can hear this weird noise. I know a lot of people think it's the flywheel, but I've always had flywheel rattle. That, I've always had flywheel rattle. That's just what you get with a stage three clutch. It's just you. It has. To, it just has rattle. That's what they do. Um, so it's nothing to do with the flywheel. It is just. It needs diagnosing. Basically, the head needs to come off. It's going to have to be machined. It's got a, a whole long process ahead of it for this car to be running 100% again, which isn't ideal and it's not going to be cheap, but it's, it's the daily and, you know, you expect things, 188,000, you expect things to go wrong. So I'm not like annoyed about it or anything, but it's, it's just one of those things that it's going to need to be fixed. But that is, they are the two main reasons where the Leon has gone. The power steering just completely died on me on the way to get it MOT tested. What are the chances of that? And then also this other common fault, which doesn't stop me from driving it, but it also can't, it also can't be doing it any good and it definitely needs to be fixed, is the fact that it's got this chipped valve in the engine. I think it's the fourth cylinder. Needs to be fixed at some point. But yeah, that is where my baby has been. She has been at the garage for two weeks getting the steering rack changed. Then in the near future i'm hoping to get it mot tested i think on the 20th of this month because they're so busy it's just rammed so yeah i think i've booked it in for the 20th so hopefully the car will pass its mot and i can swap my insurance back from the focus to this or maybe insure both and then i could start daily driving it again which i can't wait to do because the fuel economy is so much better and it's faster and it looks epic not that the focus doesn't do all those things other than the fuel economy but and the power <laughs> but It'll be nice to have the daily driver back. Then I can focus more of my money uh, other than fuel on the focus as well as get the focus as good looking as this is. Um, however, yeah, that is the main reason it's been off the road. Obviously, it just can't be on the road. It's not MOT legal. Luckily, I'm in a private road right now. So that's absolutely fine. But yeah, so 
It's not MOT legal. I haven't got it insured. It's been off the road just because of the steering rack issue as well. What as I will say, I miss driving this car so much. Just driving it on this private road, it's so nice. Like it's so fast and it's so comfortable. And obviously it just looks amazing. Like look at it. It's just such a good looking car. And it's just so aggressive and sporty. And because of the lower suspension, it's all like, it's just track ready. It just feels great. Like I miss this car so much. But yeah, that's just where it's been. It's just been in the garage and it's got this chip valve issue. Bless it. You know, 188,000, you can't expect it to be perfect. So it's got some, some fixes to undergo, but soon enough, it'll be on the road. Hopefully by the 20th, it'll be MOT ready and I can start driving it again. And then soon after that, I'll get the chip valve fixed. But yeah, there it is. Just, just looking good, just a good looking car. Just a good, reliable-ish. <laughs> car no it is reliable it's just you know steering racks can go in any car it's not like it's its fault it's 188,000 miles it's what 14 years old or 13 and a half years old like it's an old car you gotta expect to have you know certain things go wrong mark 5 golfs audi a3s do have the same issues but yeah i just thought i'd give you guys a little update on where the car's been why it's been gone and what's sort of coming up for it i mean i'm not finished with this car i still want to I still need to buy the Linear Grill, which is the honeycomb of the Seat Leon badge. I also want to get Cupra R seats, which have the, the gloss black like rears and stuff. Uh, I also want to get the Dectane tail lights. Like this car is not finished by any means. Although it looks, you know, finished. Also, I need to lower it at the front. Because as you can see, my rear fitment is literally on point. But my front fitment is absolutely horrible. So I need to fix the suspension. I need to fit the coilovers on the front. So the car is sitting perfectly. So the car is not finished by any means. Also BTT side skirts. Like I said, anyway, I can go on and on. This car is not finished. And it will be remaining on the channel. I've got plenty of content to film. Also comparing it to other cars so yeah stay tuned thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one